Welcome to my video on how to create a custom page in Thinkific Site Builder theme and embed a MailChimp uh, sign up form uh, code so that you can grab people's email address and use uh, Thinkific Site Builder as your temporary landing page and opt in page. So, uh, in my dashboard, you can see I've already created a custom page for About Me. And you don't have to name it about me. You can name it whatever it is, but just sort of to get people to learn more about you so then they will want to sign up with you. So first I'm going to click on my custom page. And if you haven't already, I would encourage you to add a custom page and um, build out whatever you want to call your page. Like just say, you can even call this um, mailing list and then add that page there. And then I'll go to the mailing list page and then I'll uh, the header right now says um, uh, banner but I can change this um, so let me just go ahead and change some of the banners so that um, the images are removed and it's a little bit cleaner and then in the headings instead of banner I would say learn how I approach course creation from a mindful lens Daily tips to keep you grounded and moving. So that's just a heading, although that's not a great heading because it's a little bit, the text is too big. So I would then later go ahead and change it, but that's just for demo purposes. Let me click save. And then um, I want to go back now um, to the text. And this is normally where people add um, a lot of like testimonials, social proof. Um, but if you wanted to do things your way, this is only just a suggestion. You can do it this way where you can delete all the icons and just choose a different icon. Instead of saying icon and text, I could just say um, join here. And then um, oh, join here. And then in the description, I would then paste it all in here. And then um, make sure I delete all these content blocks so that it looks clean and people can see that um, I just want people to join here. So that's one way of doing it. And then I can save it. Uh, but I don't really like it. I think it looks a little weird. So I'm just going to delete that block. And if I want in later on, I can add it back in. But right now, that's not really my focus. I'm really just focused on the opt-in. And what I can do is go to images and text with call to action. And this is a great place because the concept of the site builder theme is that each is a content block section. And each section can be a great way to grab your user's attention, showcase um, your opt-in. Um, yeah, so the, there's an image already. I'm just going to remove it. I like, I'm a more minimalist uh, look, so I don't like a lot of clutter. And then instead of images and text with call to action, I can say, learn from me. This is where we're heading. And then again, this is where I would paste my link code. And there you go. And you can see my opt-in is here and it's really easy. And then I'll save it and then click out of this so that um, I'm done. And then I'm taken back to my main uh, site. Uh, I've upgraded my new look, so uh, this is one way of doing it. So uh, this is a great tutorial for how you can embed a MailChimp code into your Thinkific site. Um, everyone has a different approach, and this is one way that you can do it where it's easy fast and very effective because then you don't need two websites. You can uh, function, uh, use the function of the site builder as your main primary website and then just change the domain name later on as you get more established. So I hope this video was helpful and leave me a comment and question if you have any idea, if you have any suggestions or input about this or what else um, I could help with. Thank you again.